after getting full diamond armor in the first episode, PvP can now turn on. I'm gonna get into some battles. So welcome back to Friend or Foe. To begin my plan, I am going to cook a bunch of stuff and smelt a bunch of iron. And whilst that's going, I want to grab quite a bit of obsidian from here, 10 to be exact. Because I think I need to be the first one to the nether. If I can be the first one there, I can set up a fantastic trap and potentially take a player out. I know that Clown Pierce has a Notch Apple, so at the very least I might be able to make him have to use that. I'm just, I'm just seeing what's gonna happen, or I'll take out a player. And there is also a reward available. The person to get the first kill will get a mending book. 12 obsidian, that's all that I need, perfect. Food is cooked. I can quickly wait for that. Meanwhile, I'm gonna get a little bit more leather. And I'm gonna craft a bow. I have got string, so let's go ahead and do that. There we go. I'm gonna get rid of that bow. I don't think I need it. I do need a place to put all my items, because keeping them on me is probably not the smartest thing. Once I've got 46 leather, I'll be sorted. I don't know what I'm up to at the moment. 41, we're very, very close. And sugarcane. The other thing I desperately need is sugarcane. Also, don't know when PvP is gonna come on, but it will be on this episode. Anything could happen, so I have to be ready. I have to be more than ready for this. There's an enderman over there. I could go for it. I just don't have time, though. I I'm in a... A real, uh, I've got to be quick, basically, for everything, because I have to get to the nether before anyone else, and I have to have all my items as well in the nether, and that's, that's what's worrying me a bit, because I, I need, ideally, I need, like, a hundred and some paper, which I'm probably not going to get anywhere near to. I'd really like a power four, or pa oh, okay, my axe is gone, that's, that's not ideal either, and where's my crafting table? And these phantoms coming? Are you kidding me? That's not what- Oh no, this is getting very hairy. I, you know, I'm just going to keep moving. Keep moving, keep collecting sugarcane, and I'm also going to now make- myself that crafting table so that I can make myself a brand new axe. I'm going to make an iron axe because I need to save these diamonds. In fact, now might be a good time to do this. So we can go ahead, craft ourselves a load of paper. From that, we can go like this and look at this. Fantastic. All right. Clown might have had full enchanted diamond armor, but soon I will have the same. Chickens are going to be quite important if I can find them, get feathers and also flint from gravel. I don't actually know how much gravel... I have right now. I've got none on me. Okay, that's that's important to know. Only eight obsidian. I can't count, ladies and gentlemen. I need two more obsidian. Good job I checked that. I don't know why I thought I only needed 12. Oh well, at least I know now. Not ideal to have to try and mine obsidian in the middle of the night like this, but if I go like that, I'll be very safe. Every piece is obtained. You uh, you could stay in there. And PvP is on. All right, I've got to keep my wits about me. This is the first time PvP has come on in the series, so. <laughs> All these potential friends are now foes for the next 20 minutes. Chicken's fantastic. All the feathers. Okay, we don't want that. We don't want chicken. We actually just want the feathers from you, please. Because arrows are going to be great. For my plan, I want a power four or a power five bow and plenty of arrows. Although I've taken out three chickens and not a single one dropped, so that's that's kind of annoying. But also not something I'm going to worry too much about. I'm getting rid of gunpowder. I'm getting rid of bones because I need space for gravel and eventually for feathers as well if I could actually find any. There we go. First one achieved. See you later, seeds. Once I have 20 logs, I think I'm as close as I can be to being ready for my plan. Got to be worthwhile quickly going for this Enderman, have not it? Okay. I mean, it's, it's a race against time because I don't know who's going to be in the nether first. I, I tell you, pearls are just so rare. But I, I've got to be the one to get in the nether first. If I am, I can monopolize everything. It'll be perfect. And nobody's yet got the advancement saying that they're there. Okay. I think it's between me and Clown who's going to go to the nether first because he's going to want to get a, a fortress, get blaze powder, all that. But yeah, I think I've got everything I need. And I'm pretty sure now, if I can build a portal near spawn, any other portals will link to mine. Which is exactly how I plan to set a trap. The quiff has just got the cover with diamonds. I think I've got enough leather. I'm just going to take out one last horse. There we go. We've got enough. And now I need a secret place to build a portal. Mini Mooka hot stuff as well. He might be trying to get to the nether. I don't know. So I'm just going to build a little portal here, I think, mate. I don't want to build it underground. What am I doing? I'm just going to build it here. Behind this, okay. Let's just be as quick as we can in doing this. Once I'm through and I've got this set up, then I have a little... That was good, wasn't it? Then I'll have a little bit more time to go to, to sort things, but I've just got to get this first little bit set up and ready. Okay. So, we we'll go like this. We're going to put lava like that. Okay. How are you even hitting me from there? Get rid of you. Okay. That lava is perfect. Oh my goodness. These guys are very annoying. Clown's here. Clown's actually here. Clown's going to go for me as well. Oh. I didn't know Clown was in the nether. Uh, I'm going across. Okay. 
PvP on, I didn't know Clown was in the nether. And, and I can't escape now. That was, I, I, I thought I beat him to it. I didn't see him get the advancement. Oh, that's terrifying. That is, that is very terrifying. I thought I could beat him through and I could lava trap him. My entire plan's out the window. I just saw him in the corner and he looked like he was going for it. Okay, now I am trapped in the nether. There is only one portal and I have 14 minutes to survive. I don't know where I am. I, I don't know what I'm surrounded by, but I am just going to try and stay alive. I don't even know which way the portal is. It's a cool little area, but this is this is where care has to be taken for sure. You guys have all warned me about what a great PvP a clown is. Okay, I think the portal, yeah, there's the portal. Okay, lavered up. Well, if anybody else tries to come through, they're going to be in trouble. Yeah, I didn't see the advancement, so I thought I'd beat him here, but I guess he's beaten me, which is annoying. Now, loads of pearls are to be had over there. We would also, or I would say, I would also love... Right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start upgrading my armor because at the moment, what I've got is a little bit, just not enough. I thought I was going to have more time than this. But when you look at the gear he has, he definitely outgears me. You know, I'm full diamond, but he's full enchanted diamond and I need, yeah, I need to get to that level. So that's, that's going to be my first goal, all right? I do want to find a fortress, you know, get pots and stuff like that with, from the blaze powder. That'll be fantastic, but got to be careful. Oh, we can get loads of XP. I don't. The only thing that's stopping me, I think, is I don't have enough sugar cane. So that is that is a bit of a worry. Only having that much sugar cane is going to get me. I don't know how many bucks. Let's have a little look like that. Okay, yeah, we can get a decent amount. Twelve, so we can get four bookcases. I mean, it's better than nothing. In fact, I think it's wise just to craft some of the things I've got and then use this to try and get some stuff. I don't want projectile. Just want normal prot if possible. Nice to get efficiency on my pickaxe. Okay, now we're, now we're cooking. Although I don't really want to use three levels if I can. You know what? Let's just, we're in the nether. We've got loads and loads of XP available. Let's just try and get full prop one armor. That would be perfect. So at least now my gear matches clown's gear and levels the playing field. Now I'm not so scared to bump into it. Oh, there's one last thing that I need to get up. That is the bow. Power one bow. Fantastic. Does a little bit extra. Now I'm feeling good. I'm going to collect up plenty of XP. And there's a fortress that way. Fantastic. All right. The, the exploration continues. I reckon we're going to end up bumping into him in the fortress. We've got 10 minutes left. This is a great place to get the ender pearls, though, which is a, a very fantastic thing. Quiff has made the advancement hot snuff. Now, Clown, I don't think he's been to the fortress because he's not got the advancement for it. This is risky, though. I, I, if I mess this up, I'm just going to fall in the lava. There's no gas, but it's just my worry is that Clown's just going to shoot me off because I know he's in the nether. I don't like the fact that we are both here at the same time. It's also very annoying that all of my strategizing just went out the window because he got to nether before me. <laughs> I thought I was going to be on for, you know, we could we could trap him in the lava. We could do something, make him use his not chapel because he's, he's in, you know, needs the fire resistance or something. And then, yeah, he just turns up and absolutely, uh, well, he didn't, didn't do anything, but I knew I had to get out of there in that situation because he had the better gear. Now, we are by Blaze. I can hear them. Must be somewhere up here. I don't know if he's here as well. It's just you. Okay, that's good. We'll just take that. All right, I've got that, that advancement, a terrible fortress. Clown has not yet, but he knows there's this one nearby, okay? And he's going to start looking for it. So we've got to keep our wits about us here because he could come through at any moment. And, you know, you guys have said in the comments about how much Clown is going to destroy me. So I, you've kind of put a little bit of fear into me for no reason, really. But it's made me realize I have to be ready for this, okay? I have to be ready. I have to be careful. I have to be steady. Oh, Clown Pierce did make the advancement we need to go deeper. I just wasn't paying attention. Oh, that's annoying. I should make my chat box bigger or something so I don't miss, uh, <laughs> miss the notification. Still not got a blaze rod. There is quite a few blaze spawning around, though. And I've been hit for the first time. Okay, wait, we need to grab that. I don't know what I can get rid of. I get rid of the quartz. Nice. We've got into fire. We're getting all the stuff that we need. We're going to get loads of blaze rods and then probably destroy this. That's two blaze rods. These are going to be fantastic, okay? Useful for trackers as well, which is, you know, going to be very important indeed. So I'm very happy just to chill here. Keep playing these. I'm getting such good drop rates. I think I'll just make it so more can spawn as well. It's, it's a good idea, isn't it? Clown still hasn't found the fortress as well, which is good news. It means that I'm ahead. I, I will go into the fortress looking for diamonds as well. Get the nether warts, you know, get all that good stuff that I need. Imagine if I can craft strength today and go after him. That, that gives me a massive, massive advantage in any battle we might have. Shield is just broke. No, no reason to panic, but, you know, I've just got to be ready. Ready to be set on fire, apparently. Can I just take you guys out, please, before I uh, completely burn? Quickly get a new one crafted. There we go. And I'm ready to go again. I've got loads of blaze rods anyway, so I think I'm pretty happy with where I am. Getting a little bit weak here. Two, two hearts. Should just be careful. This would be the worst time for Clown to come after me, wouldn't it? How are we doing? we got 11 blaze rods. I might even destroy the spawner. Quiff has also come to the nether. Okay, things are getting very, very interesting now. I wonder if Quiff's in my trap. Will Quiff be in my lava portal trap? Could it be Quiff's first death? Quiff, 
Does it count as a kill? This PvP for two minutes left. Could I... Could I go there? Oh, we might have got him, you know. He might just be stuck in lava. Imagine that. Oh, he's made it into the fortress. Wait, is he in the same fortress as me? Okay, he must have gone... To Something's happened and my portal trap is no longer a portal trap. Oh, he's hit me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, you know, bro. You know, Quiff, we could talk about this. I know there's two minutes left of PvP. We could battle it out. Oh, you know, we could yeah, enjoy I... this fortress together. What do you mean? Temporary truce? Yeah, 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 temporary truce. Okay, okay. I, I just wanted to just, just let you know that I'm here. <laughs> well, you let me know. You scared the living daylights out of me. <laughs> I spawned right at the fortress. Really? Oh my goodness, that's yeah. awesome. I'm trying to find a bastion, so wish me luck. Wish, uh, good luck with that. I'll see you later. Nice to run into Quiff. I, I might get him later, but I'm I, in that situation. I didn't want to get in a battle. I just want to kind of explore this fortress because if something goes wrong there, I don't want that. I also want to get my stuff back to a chest. But it's good news that he has a different portal because it means I can get back without having to use the portal near Clown Pierce that I ruined. <laughs> and they can keep that as a good trap as well. So it's a bit of a win-win that. And it's also an opportunity. You see, Quiff will probably use the same portal to get back. PvP's off, by the way. I can kind of relax a little bit more now. Yeah, Quiff is probably going to use the same portal to get back. Which I reckon if I can find it, I can use it to set up some cool obsidian trap. Then I'll take him out, get all his gear. Because I want that mending book. Diamond horse armor. I do plan to get a horse, so... Let's, let's have that armor. I wouldn't actually mind getting some more lava as well. You can see at the moment, we've just got an empty lava bucket. And apparently lava is pretty easy to find. <gasps> oh no, it burnt! I got a wither head and it burnt! Are you kidding me? I knew it was going to happen. I was like, oh, what's the chances of, the, of them dropping on this one? It'll probably go in that. Ah, oh, oh, that's so annoying. You know what? In my anger, I'm breaking this spawner. That's it. That's it. <laughs> oh, you're kidding me. That's so unfortunate. The bone didn't burn. Oh, no, but the head did. Anyway, I want to get some magma cream because then I can make fire resistance. That is if, if any of them drop any magma cream. Apparently, apparently it's rarer than you think because not a single one dropped it. And here is the other blaze spawner. I do... Has, has Quiff been to this? He must have been. Are you going to annoy me here? You know, I could... I, you see, I could get you. You can't get me. So, you, you picked the wrong person. Yeah, he must have been near this and activated it. Well, oh, well, we got some. I'm just going to get a couple more blaze rods and destroy this spawner as well. 14. That's going to be more than enough for the foreseeable future. I know I need them for strength blaze rods, but even this fortress in general, without the spawners, you can still get them. And now I have the choice of diamond axe or diamond sword. I do feel like diamond sword could be very useful, but I I don't know. I prefer the axe so much. For now, I'll go neither. I'll just go iron axe. That'll be, that'll be easier, won't it? And even though at this point, PvP could come back on at any second, I want to get back home, back to where I need to be. I mean, Quiff seems to just not even bother with this fortress, which is interesting. But yeah, I want to get back where I need to be. Couldn't unfortunately find his portal. I mean, I had a rough idea what direction it was in, but it, it wasn't. No, it's got to be. I've got to find it. It came from this direction, so it's got to be somewhere down here. I bet it's down these stairs, isn't it? And then he mined in here. He built. Aha! He's left a trail. And I've found his portal. Okay, well, PvP's not on, so the worst that can happen is there's some portal trap on the other side, but I should be okay. Yeah, it's just in a cave. Oh, this is fantastic. So I think if I just put lava like that, I'm not going to hang around to see if it works, but it should. Yeah, look at that. Every The portal's completely in lava. Now, you can just place a water bucket and break the portal, but it's still very hard trap to get out of that, to be honest. It, yeah, you can use the water to do it, but it won't, it won't be easy. I think that might get him, okay? Hopefully it does. I'm going to leave that be and see if he even uses the same portal. He might, I mean, I, I guess he will. And we'll, yeah, we'll see if, if it's a successful idea. And in the meantime, I'm going to dig my way out of here and find a place for my base. I just need somewhere. I'm not going to build anything, but I just need an area where I can put some chests just to have a few things. Because at the moment, I've just got way too much stuff on me. Oh, sand. Nice. I tell you, I'll worry about that in a bit because I will need to make some glass bottles, but... Yeah, we'll worry about that in a bit. Also did throw away my shovel because I didn't have space. I wasn't kidding when I said I don't have enough room for everything. Where are we? I have no idea. But what I do know is there's plenty of sugar cane around, which is the one thing that I am currently missing. Of course, leather and feathers are also going to be very useful. And according to my calculations, spawn is in this direction. About a thousand blocks in this direction, to be precise. So my main thing, I think... Oh, some turtles. I don't actually have any use for you guys that I can think of. But yeah, my main thing is going to be to get back home to spawn. Well, there is no home, but get back to spawn. And whilst I'm doing that, I can grab sugarcane on the way. There's loads and loads of it dotted around. And there's a ruined portal ahead. You would think that Quiff has been past this, 
but you never know. It's a very cool jungle, by the way. I love it. Oh, look at this more sugar cane as well. But yeah, very, very cool jungle. I love the way it has a river going through the middle of it. And the ruin portal has been looted. There's a boat there. I guess that's Quip's boat. A bit of a shame, but I guess it is to be expected. And darkness is starting to fall. By the way, do you like the fancy skies texture pack that I put on? I think it, it looks great, doesn't it? I, just, I could do with more strength. Those were the days. Okay. Quiff has found his bastion that he wanted. First death incoming. I, yeah, I bet the brutes cause him some trouble, actually. That could, be, uh, that could be an interesting one for him. And there it is. The beautiful spawn up ahead. So this is kind of the area that I want to build things. Was that a shooting star in the sky? That was cool. I reckon my house has got to be above a mountain, hasn't it? That's That's got to be the place. Then it's a good high ground to look over everyone. Gives me that advantage because if somebody tries to climb up, they're always in trouble. There's loads of sugar cane here. I, 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 don't, I don't know if this is going to be a bit too far away if I choose these mountains. I want to be... Like, right, right by spawn. But there's some great ones around. And I wouldn't be surprised if there's an ancient city below that mountain, actually. It's that kind of high one. I think I'll go and look. Because if I can get notch apples from there, that is going to be huge. I'm also going to attempt to get another pearl. If I could just push you in there. There's about a six million mobs around. Just get in the boat. And my boat is no more. Never mind. You know what? You know what? I'll just keep moving. PvP is on. Okay. Wits about me. I am in a bad way because I have no food. My health is not doing great. Yeah, everything's not, not ideal. So I've got to get on this mountain. This is now going to be officially SP. That's the one. That's SP's mountain right there. Can't even sprint. I'm eating raw beef. What does the world come to? And phantoms will not leave me alone. This is driving me crazy because I can't sleep if everybody else is online. All right, this is where I live. All right, it ain't going to be pretty. Okay, I haven't even got a shovel to dig in very well. So we're just... Yeah, there we go. Now we can get in. The problem is, what if somebody finds me here. That's a worry. What if somebody's got a tracker and he's tracking me as we speak? That's also a worry. Let's, let's maybe just start taking things a little bit more seriously. I have a smoker and I've got furnaces. That's good news. Let's just get a few things cooking. Then I can start regening. Clown Pierce has made the advancement into fire. Okay, he's discovered. So, right. We know he's in the nether. You know what? If only I had some wool, I could actually probably make a bed. Not quite got all the sugar cane I need. We're getting close to it though. But you know what? Things are looking good. I can do some brewing and so I need to go out there I need to get, okay, it's daytime, 15 minutes of PP. I've got to find somebody. I've got to track somebody down, but it's not going to be easy. I know Minnie's around spot. Do we try and go after Minnie? That could be good. It's just good to get some extra diamonds. I'm still going to need, yeah, a little bit of sugar cane and stuff. So that's got to be searched for too. Sand is also important. I'm going to make some strength, I think. I, I don't know if I'm going to necessarily use it, but it'll just be good to have. There's a player here. You want to fight? That's it. You run for your life now, Minnie. You think you could come and ambush me, do you? That's right. That's right. And I have taken out the first player on the server. He made a mistake. He came to SB's mountain. And that has cost him his very life. Some very good loot that he's brought me as well. Maybe he shouldn't have brought all of his good stuff. <laughs> all right, look at this. An efficiency two pickaxe. Don't mind if I do. Is he really come back and got his stuff? You can't. You can't! Whoa! He's come and nicked it! Are you kidding me? I didn't get the diamond chest plate, which is the one thing I wanted, and he got that back. At least I got his sword and his axe and his pickaxe, but... Wow. Are you kidding me? Look at Tab. He's on nine lives. He is now exempt from being involved in PvP, though. I can't go for him. He can't go for anyone else. Now I can actually craft that shovel that I wanted to. Very kind of him to bring me an extra bucket of water. And there's still ten minutes of PvP left. He couldn't, could he? SB couldn't go out there. And find someone else. I mean, I think they're both in the nether. I don't know how I'm going to get to the nether. But once I have strength, they're going to have to watch out. My main worry is I haven't got any glowstone dust yet. So that's the, the thing I need to get. Like I said, I don't know how I'm going to get to the nether. Because I've set up a portal trap. And I can't get through that portal. So <laughs> I'm going to have to make a portal really far away now. Or destroy the trap or something. Because I can't make fire res. So suppose for now, the main goal is to hope one of them comes back from the nether. And I can ambush them there. And to just keep collecting sugar cane. There it is. The Forbidden Portal. Somebody's going to find that and go through it. I, I, I don't know when Clown Fears is, is going to remove that lava because I'm guessing he's going to. But I bet at some point it gets somebody. It has to. A monument? Oh, there's a monument by spawn. That's going to be great for gold. And then I can use that gold for trading with the piglins. Because they'll give me pearls and all sorts of other good stuff. So that's definitely worth visiting at some point. I don't think Sponge has any use, but... I'm glad I know about that. And I know this area is the general direction that Clown went in the first episode. So maybe it's... Ooh... Whose is this? It's got to be Clown Pierce's portal. I reckon he leaves before the end of the episode. What do you think? Do we we can do something? I mean, I don't. I think he's too good to fall for this trap, but I think we can we can definitely 
make a bit of an effort here and make a bit of a trap of some sort. If I just remove these bits of obsidian, then this could go here. I'm actually going to put loads of lava around just to make it that little bit more deadly. We'll put a bit more on top. There we go. Makes it harder for him to remove everything. Let's just, let's just layer it up. Okay. If he does come through, he's going to have to use his notch apple. So I'm hoping he does. And I think I'm just going to camp here until PvP runs out. I've, I have trapped every single portal, which is absolutely fantastic in my opinion. He might be able to dig down or something like that, perhaps. And, and, and I've, got, I've got another idea. I've got a, another plan to see how many players are in the nether and how many players are back in the overworld. I know Minnie's in the overworld, but if I take out three sheep and make myself a bed, this will tell me how many players are here. One of three players. Okay, so there are three people in the overworld. Clown is probably one of them, perhaps. Or um, I, I feel like Quiff. Oh, Mini Mooka's, Mini Mooka's gone for Sweet Dreams as well. Or oh, we can see who the, per the third person is. Is anybody else gonna, gonna sleep? This is gonna tell me if it's true. I bet Clown's already come through, hasn't he? I think I saw an Enderman somewhere. Quiff had just said in the chat he's got netherite armor. So he's, he's getting ahead on getting stacked. And because he just got netherite armor, that tells me that Clown is also somewhere out here. And I've got 44 seconds. At least I could leave one on him, maybe. The Enderman has escaped, but don't worry. I've dealt with him. Look at this cave. It's amazing. Brings me up to a total of two pearls. I think I might have got one off mini. 49 sugar cane. That's got to be enough. I've got a treasure shipwreck with emeralds and iron. And that, ladies and gentlemen, has been a very successful episode.